everybody, Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to my channel and to all of you new, hello and welcome. This is Declan. So Declan is a little preemie baby reborn. He is the Loveland uh, sculpt by Sheila McGrath. And he was reborn by Jen at Inspired by Babies. So he's been in the NICU for a little while <laughs> and he just came home we're gonna see how he does and today I am gonna change him and I wanted to uh, modify a passy for him he has his own uh, little honey bug preemie pacifier um, but I wanted a nook to be his own as well so I thought I would show you all how I do the uh, modified passy with the magnet so that it's not permanent and that you can change it up to fit your different reborn dolls um, because you know how um, the magnets can be set in their faces in the to the different polarization just depending on you know which way it was put in and if you have a passy that the magnet is only facing one way sometimes you get that negative you know and also, um, being that the magnets are affixed behind, you know, in inside their head, on the inside of each sculpt and each mouth is different. So the placement of the magnet is likely going to be different. Um, so usually when you modify one permanently for a baby, it, it, you're just, you know, stuck with one it for that baby, which is fine. Um, just showing y'all, gonna show you all what I do. Look, he's so cute. Oh my goodness. He is absolutely amazing. He had a little spa treatment when he came out. I want to show his artist, Jen, if she does watch, um, how incredible his hair looks. It's, it's like sleek and, um, silky. The rooting is amazing. Look at that rooting. That directional rooting is incredible. The lighting is not doing little Declan justice right now. I'm so sorry. It's the middle of the night. So we have, you know, artificial light and shadows and, you know, all of that stuff. But, oh, my Lord, he is just looking absolutely incredible. And I just absolutely adore this little guy. So now, before we get started, I want to give my first shout out of the new year, and that is to a new member of my channel membership, the Pixie Squad. Um, please welcome Shara, and Shara's channel is Reborn Living Dolls. That's the name of her channel, and I'm going to put a link to her channel down below in the description so you can all pop by and visit her. Um, she's fairly new to collecting and uh, for her YouTube channel and I checked it out to meet her and wound up watching like a marathon of several of her videos because you just enjoy and want to be there. She's got beautiful dolls, very lovely lady conversation um can relate to you know a lot of things with her so if you're looking for a really nice you know reborn channel to watch and it's so fun watching collectors journeys as reborn mommies from the start or near the start and oh it's so fun um so definitely go on and check her out and it's it, it is Shara S H, um, like she spelled it out for me, like Shara cup of tea, <laughs> and I love that Shara. So beautiful, beautiful name. I believe she said means princess, and that neat. So, and she has doggy. Well, she has three doggies, but one's named Pixie, and that's so sweet. All right. I'll stop rambling now because I'm also going to get Declan changed into an adorable little elephant outfit I have set out for him. So we're going to get started. So what I do um, with the magnets, now I have three size magnets here. Um, they're all stuck together because I just wasn't sure which one was going to work 
and I'll show you all why. But you all can improvise if you have just one magnet. You can you can do it. You can make it work. Okay, so we have his little face here, and I'm gonna zoom in for you all so you can see what you know the heck is going on. Let's see. I just wanna turn this a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I have already cut the nipple off of this um, nook. So rubber or silicone, whatever kind of nipple it is, you just want to take the sharpest scissor you have in your house. I use a hair cutting scizor because it's thin and fine at the end. Or if you have an X-Acto knife, that works perfect too. And you just kind of pull on the bulb um, so it pulls it out as far as you can and trim as closely down to there as possible so that there is nothing sticking up and out to be in the way um if there is when it comes off you can just keep kind of going at it until you just get it nice and flat and even so now what i noticed with this passy and his shape face now this is gonna be all different for all different passies and all different reborn dolls so some passies will just kind of fit flat on their face and you can just do do the magnet right on this on his face the shape passy but this is the passy whoops that i want for him um let me see if i could give you all a view okay so this has if you could see down inside there some space to where the magnet would go and you know because i'm going to show you his magnet is right here because of the shape of his lips so the magnet's right there so it's you know He's got those sheep lips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put the magnet to fit. And it's probably going to have to go up here. So I'm guessing it's going to have to be one of the smaller magnets. I'll try the medium one first. So you want to see gently so you don't scratch the paint. You know, kind of just drop the magnet. So you can see where the magnet is placed. So this is where it's placed on his his little mouth. Okay. Can you all see? Okay. So now I'm going to look and see how is this passy going to fit. Now we don't want it up in a weird kind of spot. We don't, you know what I'm saying. So you got to find where you're going to place the magnet. I mean, pla you know, attach the magnet to the passy so that it's going to fit evenly on the baby's face, which I'm guessing like kind of right about there so yeah we're gonna need the magnet I just need to look myself so I'm gonna need the magnet placed probably right somewhere on the middle there but there's kind of a slope downwards so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of putty all right so this is just like thumbtack like sticky putty thumbtack putty um in white um you know you're not going to need this for every baby most pacifiers i modify actually um i don't need to use any of this this just happens to be a tough one but i was doing it and i figured i would share it with all of you so i'm gonna just approximate and guess and none of this is gonna touch his face you're gonna see why um, I'm going to just kind of approximate and guess as to, you know, how much I need to fill in here and where I need to put it, you know, something I'll have to play around with, but let's see if I could just kind of like this, um, see where it's going to go. Don't like that fit. It's too low down. Okay. Hold on. Ugh. And I mean, you could literally, oops, you could literally use it like this. Some people do. They just do the, the tack and, you know, um, they just, you just change it around. I mean, if you're just doing a photo or something, just some thumbtack and you can do it. I don't like the magnet though on their paint, you know, especially if you're going to, if you're going to be using it a lot and taking it on and off a lot, you definitely want to do something to protect their their face there okay so I feel like that's gonna be a good fit for him and let's see if it stays on yes it has 
So this is what this is looking like here. Now I'm going to be putting tape over it. So I'm going to want to fill in under here because the tape is going to push it down, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to fill in because otherwise it's going to be pulling it up and pulling the tape off. I hope I'm making sense to you all. So we're just doing a little bit of minor sculpting here <laughs> to get this right. This is the probably the toughest one I've ever done. And of course, got to be the one that I picked to give you all a demonstration. So, but anybody can do this you know, or most, you know, most of you can, of course, I know some people, you know, if you have stuff going on with your hands and, you know, any sort of disability or whatever, of course, of course, or, or arthritis and stuff. Um, but it is something that, you know, most people that, you know, can just do little arts and crafts and stuff can do. So if you're not able to do it yourself, um, you know, and you have somebody that you can ask to, you know, watch this video or something, have somebody do it for you, you know, ask for a little help. Cause you know, I know I'm in, I'm there in life where I have to wait for things for people to lift heavy things for me and things that I know I can't do. So then you want to kind of just measure up the tape so that it's not going to be hanging off the end. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm using medical tape and I'm just using like the clear one. It kind of has the, the little bit of pattern to it. Um, and I don't think it's a specific brand because it's, it's just, you know, medical tape, generic medical tape. You can get this at CVS. You can get this. I get mine at like the surgical supply store. So it's not a brand name. It just comes in the rolls and, you know, it's pretty cheap as opposed to getting it at like CVS, like all in the package, like Johnson's probably makes one and stuff like that. It's just cheaper to get it from surgical supply or probably I'm guessing online. You could probably find it, you know, like on uh, maybe Amazon, I'm thinking, but, um, you know, don't quote me on that. And then you just simply put the tape over. Now, I'm sorry, it wasn't showing. Now, normally, I don't have to go through all this with the putty. And I'm just simply placing the magnet where it's, you know, gonna go on the baby's face and putting a piece of tape over it. So it's very, very easy to just pull the tape and the magnet off and switch it from baby to baby and to where it needs to go on the passy if you want to use it for a different baby. And even this, I mean, this putty took what, two, three minutes. So if I wanted to, you know, use this passy for a different baby in the future, no problem. So let's, and the, the tape is going to protect the paint a little bit, um, as opposed to having the metal on there. Although the, the magnets are smooth, they're not really scratchy. If you're gentle with it, you really should be fine. Um, I only really use passies just for photos and videos and stuff. I'm not kind of pulling them on and off all the time. So I don't worry so much about it. And if you're just kind of gentle and careful, you're good. Okay, so let me just move these things. And we're going to start getting this little sweetie change now that he's feeling a little better with his passy because I think he's getting um hungry here yes because he's eating like oh my goodness every hour and a half he's taking maybe half an ounce or so but he's such a good boy yes he is I just I love the role play and being a reborn mom I got a really fun role play thing for you all for like you know maybe next video um I don't know if you all do kind of, what would I say, like role play in your heads? <laughs> like when you're getting these babies and like what their little stories are, like if you adopted them, if you gave birth, you know, etc. And oh boy, I have like a really neat one. Um, I'm not going to spoil it all though. <laughs> And he is just a cloth body reborn, so you won't be seeing any baby parts today. And this is a preemie.
Pampers, and he's gonna just go on a new Preemies um, Pampers. This is just the regular um, Preemie Swaddler, which is pretty much almost the size of the Pampers newborns, to be honest. You really got to get like the P1 or P2 or P3, which are like micro, micro preemies to get like the small, small, but because like I measured these up to like a Huggies newborn and they're the same. Um, you can use newborn diapers for sure on your preemie reborns that are like preemies that aren't micro preemies or mini babies, but anything like you know, this general size, um, sculpt a little bigger, a little smaller, give or take, um, depending on the sculpt, you can use, um, either these regular preemie diapers, or you can really use newborn diapers, especially because I feel like diapers are supposed to be like a little big on, you know, especially preemie babies. It's very realistic to see like a big looking diaper, on a little preemie baby because they usually are, you know, get tiny. And I just absolutely adore preemies. I'm really excited when I'm gonna get to painting. Like I definitely wanna, you know, paint preemies. And they certainly are good as far as like space in your collection. Like you'll you'll you will see if you're like newer to collecting and you're get getting into like multiple dolls and stuff like having little preemies like you could put like three little preemies in like a little bassinet space or something that you could put one like full-size newborn baby reborn baby um and i like to keep things realistic i don't like to just sit dolls in a basket or you know, line them all up in a crib or a bassinet. For me, I mean, I, I know lots of collectors do that. I'm just saying, like, for my own self, I like them to be kind of just laying out on display in on, in a realistic um, way, if that makes sense. Because uh, that's just what, how I enjoy looking at my doll collection. Uh, tell me in the comments how you enjoy looking at your doll collection. And this little outfit here I believe and this is a one piece it has little elephants on it it's super soft and Marks and Spencer this is a Marks and Spencer's outfit those of you that are going to ask about the little elephant outfit I think this may have been to, uh to Milo's I'm not a hundred percent sure it's so hard to remember but um, I had it in my boys preemie thing because I have a boys preemie um, bin. It's like a flat storage tote like under the bed one. And then I have a girls one and they are under my bed in my bedroom. So I don't change my preemies to too often. I kind of have my silicone baby like Oscar and now Bindi um, like my my full size um, full body silicones like I have their clothing is the one that I have like out in here in the living room, like accessible. And then, um, and my toddler, um, I have in here and I don't know, I, I'm going to have to do some rearranging, I'm sure. But the preemie clothes, you know, you can fit a lot of them in, in a, you know, one of those storage tote thingies. Um, and it's kind of just easy. It's like, oh my gosh, look at this baby. Just look at this little boy. <laughs> Can you believe he was supposed to be a little girl and he surprised us? Yes, he did. Um, his artist had him totally planned as gonna be a little girl and, um, he was born actually right on um, li live stream and we all looked and afterwards I said that is a boy. <laughs> we all agreed like oh boy that is 
a boy and I mean she had like all these like little custom signature like girl things crocheted for him and everything like he was totally set like this is gonna be a girl but you know you can't they sometimes will tell you what they are and of course like my personal opinion is if like you go against that it kind of just kind of ruins then the feeling with the baby because if you're you know making the gender something that it's like really just so clearly obviously not for me it's mm, done work for me I just I know some collectors it does like if, if they want a girl it's just gonna be a girl if they want a boy it's just gonna be a boy and that's great too like totally go with what works for you is what I say that just doesn't happen to, oh, yes, I remember these socks. I think this was to Milo's. Um, this just doesn't, um, it doesn't work for me. Uh, you know, I, I need to kind of just go with the art and uh, like really kind of, you know, what the baby says to me and everyone else for that matter. I just look at this. Oh my God. I don't know if you all can see just how sweet these little tiny like chicken legs look with these like socks that are just big and rolled up I just love this look so there's a little lovey that goes with this like it's a matching um I think it's like a birth it's not a lovey I'm sorry it's a burp cloth um but I use it as just a little like lovey for him to hold and then this I've had for the longest time, this little elephant, but it, it matches. It has some purple on it. This is by Aurora Baby. It's so, it is beyond soft. It's softer than a jelly cat. And oh, look at this. Oh, his eyes are trying to focus. Yes, they are. So he's getting fussy. There we go. So here we are. We have baby Declan. I hope you enjoyed seeing him and how I modify a passy, even though that was like my most difficult passy modification. And I, like I said, I usually don't have to use like the putty and all of that. Um, very rarely. And um, I've never had to like build it up like it just happened to be. And, you know, I actually, I had a green one of these and I was intending, I wanted to make his, his a green one because it kind of went with his eyes and I wasn't paying attention and I was talking or whatever and I cut off the nipple on the wrong one and um, I only have a couple of these little nooks and I, you know, I wasn't going to cut the other one because I want to leave them whole. So anyway, I've rambled on, but... Before I let you all go, to those of you that are still here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you press the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video. And don't forget that my channel has a membership. We're called the Pixie Squad. There's always a link in the description down below. Or you could click the blue join button next to subscribe. It is $1.99 a month. That's all inclusive. You can cancel it at any time. And you must be 18 years or older to join. But literally for less than the price of like a cup of coffee out a month. Um, that's where I do my exclusive live streams. And um, you know exclusive content. Other perks. Just great place to to hang out with friends, get questions answered, all that good stuff. So hope to see many of you in there that would like to support my channel. And until next time, God bless.